I see frequently on your various sites that you do list up, and that's, that's another great counter. Uh, the, the environmental crowd, and I don't take them as being pure either. Some of them are, obviously. Most of them are not. Uh, they're, they're always having a, a, a spectacular, uh, at the high table, a catastrophe. The, the world is ending tomorrow. This is the worst we'll ever be. We're destroying the planet. You point out very frequently that certain of the technologies, certain of the advances of the civilization have lifted people out of poverty. They put them into new situations. They, they, we have relieved more suffering in some cases, not, maybe not more than we have caused, but it's a different century in which you'd be grateful for things. Gratitude is in short supply. Yes, on, yes, well, it's in, 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 it's, in, it's, it's, it's completely absent among the, the collectivists and the people who play identity politics. There's no gratitude at all. And that's a, and it's so interesting, it's so interesting to me to see that because, let's say, the professors who lead those movements, mm -hmm. they are the most protected people yeah. who've ever lived, they right? Are. It's like, it's like they're standing on a hill and around them is a wall and it's four feet away and around them that wall is another wall that's four feet away and another wall and another wall and mm. there's just sequential walls and at this edge of the sequential walls is a huge army and it's powerful yeah, yeah. And, and all of that protects them absolutely, absolutely. and they say um, everything is corrupt and going to hell, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, it, there's, there's just no sense of no, gratitude whatsoever and that's, that's, that's appalling to me because it's so unlikely to occupy a position like that and, and the proper response, although criticism is necessary obviously, Criticism means, well, this is wrong and this is how we could fix it. It doesn't mean tear everything down no, and leave people no. with nothing. And that's certainly, uh, that certainly happens to people in universities now. They, they come in barely formed yep. and they leave... Um, Ill-formed. They, yeah, they leave, they leave in tatters, you know, and, and that's, that's... And it's uh, also true, to go back to our, you refer to it, I've referred to it. There are so many people outside of the the higher structures of society that no one is talking to. That's where Mr. Trump comes in, yeah. and uh, more power to him for that matter. Yeah. He, he is talking and listening. I know that's another absolute heresy. Uh, he is not the cause of these things. He's the result of failures of other and more sophisticated people. Well, and I think I've, I have a friend who's working very closely with the Democratic Party in, in the United States and, and, and has been quite effective at doing so and trying to move the party closer to the middle and away from the radicals. And we discuss this a lot because, you know, I think one of the reasons that the people who hate the Democrats in the United States truly hate them, right, that there's just vitriol yeah. there, is because they've proved themselves incapable of generating a candidate who can actually take on Trump. Yeah. And, and I think there's a disappointment even among the enemies of the Democrats that's so profound there that it generates precisely this vitriol. It's like the man is, 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 is characterized by manifold flaws. And, 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 and I'm not saying this in a partisan way. No, I know. I and, accept. And the fact that the system works so poorly that a credible centrist candidate can't be found to to offer himself at least as a viable alternative. I mean, my poor friend, who's, who I said is, has been following this and has been deeply involved in the debates, he's just, he's just tearing out his hair <laughs> watching the Democrat <laughs> debates and watching well, it degenerate. Well, he this. should. Well, exactly, he but should. It's, so, it's so sad well, you to got, see uh, that. You have, you have a, a new age spiritualist who's going to be president of the United States, and you have them dissolving the idea of nationhood. We will abandon the border. I mean, it, anyway, it is such a weak thing, but the people in the street, the guy who called me about you, that's a class, and it's a vast class. Yes. And it's, it is, that's the great 50% yeah. that has been walked over and is turmoil, and all of the identity politics and all of those things that get traffic and commerce in, in conversation in the media, these are irrelevant to them, yeah. apart from being insulting. Yes. And after a while, the social pressure builds it, and this game that's going on over here, We'll have to close or something breaks. Yes, yes. Well, I guess in Trump was an attempt to break it. Brexit you know? was another attempt. Yeah, that's right. Brexit was another and attempt. And Australia, good illustrate. 